Hi guys, my name is Pawan and I welcome you all towards my channel. So guys, today I'll be discussing with you five important things which you need to keep in your mind before you are applying for any kind of college. You know, yar, I get always this kind of questions from the students that this college is good versus this college. They used to ask me which has very good brand value, should be select based on the placement category and all such kind of questions. So guys, today I'm going to share with you these five important tips which you need to surely keep in the mind. If you do not watch these five five important tips, you know, trust me, you are applying to any college doesn't make any kind of sense because after doing so much of research, I've got these five important valuable points. So make sure that you apply these five points before you're trying to applying for any kind of college so now let's get started without any further point delay. number one don't be behind any kind of brand value of a college see guys you know different kind of colleges tell that okay we have this brand value we are this much kind of uh, faculty members we have this much kind of for example you no know, it could be about this much kind of placements and other kind of factors they constantly project but please do not fall under that kind of category. See guys, when any college tells that, you know, we provide you complete placement, that is really flawed. Now, I want you to remember this one important thing in your mind is that, you know, see guys, you should always select a college based on the faculty members or it could be based on the expect, uh, exposure which you're going to get or it could be based on the competition, the aspect which that particular college is going to host. So all these things you need to keep in your mind. Got it? Very simple. So it's like, you know, do not go behind any kind of brand value or any kind of uh, placements. You just need to select based on the faculty members, based on the exposure you'll be getting and based on external factors with that particular kind of college is basically hosting. The second important tip which you need to keep in the mind is that guys, please don't select a college which is based which is against your niche you know some people tell that Pavan I don't like to go for this college because they are very much strict whereas you know uh, where some people tell that Pavan I really want to go to college which is very much strict see now what I mean by college strictness or it could be about disciplineness you know you know certain colleges you know the faculty members are very punctual in terms of your CIAs your assignments your college works and everything you're very strict and you know if I am a person to be honest if my teacher is only really strict on these bases I will sit and study if my teacher is not strict obviously I will not be caring about it whereas some colleges they make you completely liberal. They don't take care about your attendance. They don't take care of other things. If you're interested on that, then you can opt for it. Whereas if you like a college, which is very much strict, you can opt for it. See, for example, no, it goes against each person's interest. They'll be like, okay, Pavan, why are you telling this? Very simple. See, if I'm a working person, okay, and I want to balance along with my academics and my extracurricular aspect and all these things, I want to balance it. Or for example, you know, then I will be opting for some kind of liberalness. Or if I'm, or if I'm a working professional, you know, I want to do parallelly my studies. So there, strict college doesn't work for me because I cannot balance both so it's very important for you to choose a college which is based on your thing okay so some people would like to work under pressure some people will not like to work under pressure so that comes basically upon your Third important tip which I would like to share with you is guys guys choose a college which is basically aligned towards your personality see for example you know uh, I remember one of my friend her name is Aditi okay she was explaining these beautiful concepts to me she was telling Pavan I would like to opt for judiciary you know so I will my ambition is to basically become a advocate or uh, is to become a judge so I will choose a college which is basically teaching up the traits of my particular kind of passion now for example certain colleges for example you know some people tell that uh, this college teach in terms of more in terms of company basis like for example you want to uh, enter into any kind of corporate companies this college provide that kind of training then you can offer it whereas some college will provide you training in terms of getting into some kind of competitive based on exams so then you can offer it whereas some college you know provide courses which is like aligned towards your passion for example some people want to do CA so some courses are being very much combined it okay BCom with this particular course you do you can also do CA so always select a college which is basically aligned towards your personality and not based on the compulsion of any people see guys if you take any kind of course based on the compulsion you will literally regret a lot I've seen many of the students they are these people you know, they have completed two years of undergraduate and these people will reapply once again to other college telling that Pavan I didn't know what was my niche I went in selection of based on my parents interest I went in selection of my pa uh, teachers interest so do not go like that select what you really like and see even take valuable opinions so no sabki or sirf karo kudki Fourth important tip which I want to share is that guys, please do not go to any college based on any kind of an expectations, okay? Telling that, uh, that you know, after I come to this college, this college will be providing me with every kind of thing or do not have pre kind of expectations before i'll give an example okay for example i will tell that if i don't get in christ college that's it i will my career is completely on flawed it's literally bullshit it's literally bullshit why because if you're getting in a normal college also if you're doing very well in academics yeah if you're doing very well in your extracurricular aspect if you're trying to project yourself in a better manage tell me which company will basically reject you 
I asked this question many times. I remember here one of my student, you know, he basically studied in a normal government college here. In that government college, he did literally fantabulous thing, literally fantabulous in his academics, in his extracurricular aspect. Every arena, he literally did awesome level. And guys, I should proudly tell this year, he got 20 from 21 colleges offer letter from abroad for doing his masters. That's the thing, okay. And being in private institution, there are many uh, bangas or what you call jugads. Still now, they have not got any kind of offer letters. So it totally depends on now you on how well are you trying to progress yourself. The fifth important tip is that guys select a college based on your passion. I already said this, but along with it, after entering into college, you know I've seen many of the students getting into drugs, getting into alcohol. They literally waste their times watching Netflix, Amazon. They try to be just in that. See guys, if you are also belonging to this category, you know you are literally a fool because after coming to college, try to utilize that. To the best utilize that efficiency in a better manner because you should be proving that you're worthy for that particular seat there are many particular students you know i feel literally so sad yeah they have come to my own interview services and all but after a certain period of time they will lose their interest and at such point of time no they are not doing very great things which they have promised before coming to that particular college so if you are also that banda please do change it as soon as you enter in that college do your best in whatever way is it possible trust me you will ace the world you will ace the world try to keep this five tips in your mind and trust me the world will bow down to you based on your knowledge your expectations and nobody can stop you trust me nobody can stop you because you are the powerful jewel you are the powerful tool so try to enhance the knowledge do not learn for the sake of marks see no marks will never define you you know who you are who you are not but it's what about you know how much knowledge you're trying to process and college could just be a medium on it so i hope you guys got these tips and make sure that you apply in your life wishing you all the best good luck jai hind jai bharat